What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Paris and Nina Familia channel. As y'all can see my wife here, she's busy. She's throwing out stuff. She just had came back. Say hi. She don't want to talk. She don't want to talk right now, guys, because she just came home. Blah blah. But long story short, if any of you guys have been living in Florida as of late, um, y'all know it's been cold and whatnot. So we hadn't had time to go out and actually had a good adventure because of the weather. But so today we're gonna spice it up a little bit, change it up, and we're gonna make some food. So this is actually my favorite dish from my wife. She makes uh, fresh tomato sauce pasta and we're gonna make garlic knots as well and I figured throw in the camera show our whole process now the kitchen the, the sink is filled with dishes right now she just came back home with food we're gonna pull all this stuff away we're gonna do a little time-lapse of all that getting done and then we're gonna make the, um, the tomato sauce fresh tomato sauce pasta and the garlic knots and show you guys the outcome so let's do it All right, so we just cleaned the kitchen up, got everything all tidied up, as y'all saw, washed my hands. Now it's time to get to the nitty and gritty and make this fresh tomato sauce pasta. Let's do it. far so good we have tomatoes in here cut up with garlic and a little bit of oil the wife she's cutting up some more tomatoes she has the garlic over here and we're gonna put some more in there then she's gonna add this tomato sauce and then from there we're gonna let it cook up and then we have this spaghetti pasta we're gonna put in another we're gonna boil up some water I'm gonna put it in there, have it sit, mix it in with this, and it's gonna be very nice. All right, guys, my lovely wife just went crazy with the sauce. Look at how that's just steaming. Mm, only if you guys were here in front of the camera right now smelling. Mmm, 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 the garlic, salt. Well, um, she put spices in there. She did her thing in there. Ooh, mamma mia. Next up is uh, boiled water. So we could put, like I said before, spaghetti in here. Have the spaghetti sit in there for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe a little less, depending on how fast the heat, you know, soaks up. And um, we'll, after we'll put the spaghetti from here, in here, and we'll get the garlic knots. We have garlic knots. Matter of fact, I'll show you right now. Oh, oh, oh. We 
we got garlic knots, the savory garlic natural flavors. We throw this in our, um, we have a air fryer, so we throw this in there for five minutes, less than five minutes, and we're good to go. So, stay tuned guys. Right, while we wait for the food to get done, look at our son here. He's knocked out. So precious. So I did cut his hair. Um, he did get a haircut. And let me tell you, the first haircut didn't go as smooth as I thought it would. He's just crying, didn't know what was going on. But nonetheless, it went well. And uh, handsome son right there. Uh, another thing is I want to show you guys outside on how beautiful and lovely today is. I did want to go out on our little venture today, but due to work related things, I have to stay home. But look at how beautiful. Now, what you guys are looking at through the camera is a mesh, or I guess to prevent like, you know, lizards and whatnot, but look at how beautiful. I just can't get over it. Look at the sky. Look at the palm trees. Look at the lake. I just can't get over it, man. I, every day I just look. Not every day, but as much as I can, you know? I look and just very grateful, you know? Back to the food. All right, guys, update. I just put the spaghetti in not too long ago. I'm gonna have it sit for another five, maybe eight minutes-ish, depending. And um, I'm gonna get the garlic knots done right now. We have our handy dandy. Oh, this needs to get cleaned. We have our handy dandy um, air fryer. So we're gonna pour our gar garlic knots in here, have it sit for about a couple minutes. The best thing about an air fryer, and if you guys don't have an air fryer, I recommend getting here. I've been using this more than this microwave here. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This air fryer gets things done so much faster than conventional air, a microwave or oven or whatnot. So I'm just gonna put these in here, and I'm gonna show you guys actually in a second on how I'm gonna do it and how we go about it. So here we go. Is take out your garlic knot, right? You place it right here. Put as much as you want. Now, also another thing before I continue, it also has a plate, so you can have this sit on top, so the grease can go on the bottom, and you don't have to mix it up with the grease. So that's a pretty dope invention. I'm sure you right now actually what I'm talking about. So see how it has a floor right there. Now you have this upper piece, so you can, whatever drips out of the garlic knot, it will drip on the bottom, it won't be saturated inside the garlic knot. So that's a pretty dope invention. But, so me and my wife are eating, so we're gonna have two, I have two each. I have one more just, just cause. So I'm about to install it in here right now, show you guys what it does. So what you do is, you press that power button once it's in there, and then you could make it to your liking, um, how high, how low you would like it. You can bring it all the way down to, to the 200s, even the 180, that's the, the lowest it'll go. And then the max will go, I think is 400 if I'm not mistaken. So usually for like garlic knot, let's see what it says in the pack. It says 375. Let's do 375. Well, it only does 370, so we'll do 370 for about, well, let, let's sit for about six minutes. So we'll let it run for six minutes. All right, just turned off the oven here. Pasta is done. I'm about to drain it out in this thing, in the, in the sink, and uh, get it ready. So now, what we're gonna do is, I, like I said before, we're gonna mix up the pasta into the fresh tomato sauce, and I'm gonna show you guys how I go about it. So let's do it. Now make sure there's a healthy amount in here, because sometimes what my wife likes to do, she'll like to put half of the, the, the macaroni inside with all that extra tomato sauce in such a waste. So 
Let me, uh, let me mix it up. Final product right here, and we're gonna put it on a plate. Let's check out the garlic knots. Now, mind you, this garlic knot's been here for two, three minutes, and it's pretty much you can focus it here. It's pretty much done. So let's put this on a plate and show you guys what's up. All right, guys. So I got my hand dandy paper towel right here. It's gonna be over here because I'm wearing white. But look at this. Woo! Mamma mia. And the garlic knots. Woo! Wee! Delicious. Now, I'm not gonna say I take all the credit. My wife made the sauce. And uh, I made, I guess you could say I made the pasta, the spaghetti. But the spaghetti ain't hard to make. So, let's, let's take a first bite. Any of you guys that have not tried tomato, fresh tomato sauce pasta, I recommend to please try it. It's very, very good. Very good. Mm. Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Now let's try a bite of the, the garlic nuts here. Yeah, that's good. Now, this wasn't freshly made until I saw it was pre packaged, but let's try it. Take a little piece. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Mamma mia! So now, I'm gonna enjoy this dish now. And, um,. Uh, Give you guys my final thoughts on um, this dish. Oh, oh, my gosh! I am so full, man. That food was delicious. Now, any of you guys that have not tried fresh tomato sauce and are looking to do so, I 100% recommend doing it. And add a little something on the side as well, like garlic knots, maybe pita bread, whatever, something like that. You know what I'm saying? It really spices up the, the dish more than what it is. But nonetheless, guys, I appreciate you guys coming along, watching a little dinner we had today. And um, hope you guys enjoyed it. So catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully the next video we'll go out and do something. Again, out here, it's been really cold, you know, winter time. So we haven't been able to do much. But those videos are coming very soon. Thank you again guys, see you guys in the next one.